You have many different options when it comes to light. To place down a light, you first need to go to your entity spawn tool right here. Place down a new entity, double click on the entity, and just for the example, I'm going to turn this into a light underscore omni. The light underscore omni is like the generic basic light that is basically just used in every normal situation. You can um, change the style of this light quite simply. Double click on it and under style you can change the appearance. You can have it flicker like so. Of course if you're unable to see this you need to go to this little box up here and change it to all lighting. You're probably set on full bright right now but if you change it to all lighting you will be able to see what I see. All the lighting and shadow effects will be rendered. Of course this isn't the exact view of what you'll see in the game. Make sure in the top right your tone map scale is set to auto. And before you do anything else, clear all lighting and bake all lighting. This will then render the lighting in Hammer to show exactly what it will look like in the game itself once you run it up. So this is what I'll see in my map when I run the map up. On the style, there are lots of different options. Pulse, slow pulse, gentle pulse, flicker, flicker again, and candle. Candles used as, well, as a candle lighting. You place this above your candle model and let it do its thing. There are other different lights as well. There is light spot, which is pretty much a spotlight. It points in one direction. Moving it will change the light's direction, of course. There's light ortho, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure where you would use this, if I'm totally honest. Maybe on a monitor screen. There's also light environment, which pretty much uses the sun as a light entity. This looks a lot better when you place down a sky entity. So place down your entity tool, double click it, and change this into a sky NV sky. This will then give your world a sky. So as you can see, it's using, despite the fact that I have a ceiling, uh, the outside of my room has no walls. So the light can just flourish straight inside. You can change the direction of the sunlight and as you can see it, it also changes the shadow direction depending on where the light is facing. It doesn't matter where you place this light entity, as you can see it doesn't change anything, it's only the rotation that matters.